Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Melanie and today, honestly, I thought we could just catch up because a lot's been going on, like let's be real. We got a drink from Country Coffee. There's no label on it, but that's where it's from. It's a Red Bull, it has coconut, peach, and orange. I don't always get them all the time. It's really good, refreshing for summer, honestly. And I don't crave Red Bulls often because you kind of get a lot of energy off a of Red Bull and not gonna lie, it's been a lot lately. So cheers, we're gonna talk and we're gonna catch up. I got my hair trimmed today. Yachty absolutely slayed it. She's great, honestly, every time. Like, I'm like, it gets better and better. It was great when she first started on my hair. It just gets better and better every time. I'm always like, feeling her. It's like better and better every time. Let's go. So that happened today. I'm officially on spring break. I am done with winter term and I got an A. I cannot believe it, you guys. We're on spring break. <laughs> I'm gonna see how I feel with spring term. There's a technical class I'm looking into taking that could help me with my business career. Also just give me like another backup job. I did like some research on it and you can make some income off of a technical writing job position and you know like my coffee shop is gonna be priority that's what I want to do but I feel like good things take time and money <laughs> to be fully honest I might need something else to do before I have the coffee business and I thought why not maybe like technical writing like as a job position especially if I have some experience in the class I don't know I say this all excitedly but I could go into that class absolutely hating it I tried doing my research and it's hard to tell like what you do in technical writing so we are going to see I'm not putting out that I'm gonna take it yet because I don't know I have a long extended spring break but I kind of want to take spring term for technical writing for like a backup job honestly and honestly you guys I'm gonna have like a pretty long summer break and so I kind of don't want to have a break from like April to September if I'm being real Definitely in that break though, I'm gonna be planning and writing out everything I want for my future coffee house. And if technical writing does work out in the spring, look into something like that. But I really would love to have a remote job. I just am like naturally a homebody, honestly. I've really enjoyed taking online classes now. I have a break right now, thankfully, and I've needed it. But it's a short one. Like I have like two and a half weeks. Fall term for winter break was three weeks. So I'm just trying to figure it all out. Um, I have plans, I have big plans, guys. I don't know like what's gonna like happen in my love life. I'll watch this a year later and probably laugh <laughs> depending on what ends up happening, but. Okay, so like for a while, like I was trying to catch a guy. <laughs> I was trying to catch a vibe of a guy I like at a store. He's like shy and I'm shy. I don't know, like, um, <laughs> I don't know anymore. So like, he's the guy I talked about briefly back in like, September because he walked me out one night. He like read my facial expressions and can tell I was uncomfortable. But I thought he was just doing something nice. But I also thought he was like gonna ask for a number, but he didn't. We also did just meet. Well, but it's funny because then like Sweater Boy <laughs> asked for the number the very first day. Like in a similar situation, like going out to your car, you know? <laughs> It's just funny. And like Sweater Boy was shy too. He got more like you're pressured into it. Like he liked me, but his friend was like, go do it. If it wasn't for his friend, he wasn't gonna do it. That's what I mean by that. Not like pressured as in like, oh, should I just like settle on this girl? Not like that pressure, but like just from his friend being like, go do it. His friend was just trying to push him, but we all know that story. I hadn't really seen this guy at the store. And then periodically I would, but then like one time I talked to him and I was like a total embarrassment. It was like not a hair day. It was a sweats day. I wasn't even gonna go in the store. I really needed wet ones. You guys know that's like, the plug I have them in my car so I went in and of course I like left my wallet in the car and so I had to talk with him because they were like 10 minutes before closing I'm thinking like I look like a little 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 literal, literal egg like a toe like it was bad and I had to talk to him looking ugly AF <laughs> that's how I felt sorry and be like hey I left my like wallet in the car I really just need like two things and I'm out of here I know you're closing in 10 is it okay and he was like yeah sure like go he was really nice and cool I rush out rush back in <laughs> Gosh, like I had my hood up. Like I was like, I don't wanna talk today. I look bad and I only need to be in here for two seconds, but I had to go out, go back in. And then he even like said, have a nice night while he was like doing carts. And I was like, are you kidding me? That's been kind of a pattern. He'll say that a lot when he's doing carts cause I'm always there before closing weirdly enough. I'm just like a night owl, I feel like. I don't know if I could use the walking out to my car as an excuse now because it's getting lighter earlier. <laughs> later I meant, sorry. It's getting lighter. No, sorry, I'm I'm, lo I'm lost on my words. It's getting darker later. Like it's still lighter outside. Sorry if I said that all wrong because daylight savings already had happened. But I get his number. There's more to the story. I don't even know anymore. No, I feel like I haven't caught you guys up forever. So then my favorite book series is Beyond the Play by Grace Riley. Grace is having books coming out like every couple of months. Next month, the second book is gonna come out. She like redid like her covers and had new scenes in the books. In February, the first book came out and then in April coming up, the second book's gonna come out. And then June, the third book, 
book and then in August will be the fourth book that I haven't read yet and I'm excited about. But I couldn't find the first book at the store. I happened to get lucky and see the guy and was like, hey, can you help me find it? He was like, yeah, sure, can I see your phone? And I, I low-key wanted to tell him, oh, you can open the notes app and just type in my number. I wanted to say that, that was like in my head, but I was like, no, don't be weird. So I was like, shut, I didn't get his number. Well, cause like, I don't know his age. What if he has a girlfriend? I'm like 99% sure he doesn't because of the last interaction I had with him. But you never know with the 1%, I could be wrong. I ended up finding the book and I remember my head being like, oh no, that's tragic. Like it didn't work out because I like wanted to still talk to him and I knew I couldn't anymore. Cause I found the book. It was like in an impossible spot in front of our faces too. It was like, you gotta be kidding me. And then that was that. And then the last time I talked with him, the time like he helped find that book for me, even though I ended up finding it, but I couldn't find it to save my life. No, cause I went to the aisle and then like I had to go back. Cause I was like, you know what? I want this book. It's in here. I'm like, why can't I find it? And I ended up finding it. At least he was gonna try to help anyway. What I was trying to say is that I caught on and found out. I looked on his name tag and found out his name. And so I was like, next time I see him, I'll just like flirt a little and like say his name at the end of the conversation. I was like when girls are bold. I was like, if he's single, his reaction will be very telling. Or if he likes me. I don't know. You know what I mean? I think so, honestly. I run into him another time. I don't really talk to him until the end. He's doing carts again. Why are we not surprised? When I was in the checkout line, he totally looked at me and I felt like butterflies. And I was like, go away. Well, cause like it's so hard to date. Cause like you always like fear of like the worst case scenario, you know? Like, I don't wanna feel things. Like, I don't even know the guy, you know what I mean? I just know his name. And his name is a nickname kind of name. So I'm like, are you kidding me? So I don't even know his name. Tried to stalk him to get like some research. But not much of a stalker, but if it's in the early stage, I'm getting to know a guy or I want to get to know a guy, I'm a stalker then. It's more of like after dating and breaking up, I don't stalk. <laughs> And then he like looked at me again and then he was staring at me when I was going to carts to put my cart back because I just had one back. He's staring, he wants to talk to me. I felt very obvious. I'm like, I'm just gonna start the conversation because I'm thinking, I think if I start the conversation, I will end the conversation. I'm like so shy, but then also me. Hey, I thought to do you the favor and return the cart to you. You know, instead of like leaving it outside. And he was like, <laughs> yeah, like thanks. And then he was like, have a nice night. And I was like, you too. And then I said his name. And then he laughed. It was really cute. Like a cute light laugh. And like I was already leaving at that point. But I was like, that will leave him remembering me. I'm like, oh, I'll see him again. And I was going to try to go last night. But here's the deal, you guys. My sleep has been like so off lately. But also... Um, I kind of met like a different guy and now I'm like, I don't know like who I like I'm not trying to be in another like love triangle situation I feel like I won't be because like I'm looking for different standards now versus back when I was I was thinking about this recently of a couple guys I had like at this point in like 2022 Um, you know, like I was kind of thinking I guess that's two years ago fair back then I was more focused like on the connection where I feel like now I'm more focused on the values and the beliefs because I feel like the connection and the attraction will come naturally but if you don't align and if you're not on the same page then what's the point of dating i feel like now like i'm going into it like really just trying to get to the core of it and so i don't feel like i'll be in the same predicament now if they're both like on the same page with values and beliefs we'd be in trouble but i don't think that would be the case you never know but like i have really high standards so i don't want to say that'd be the case i don't know like i feel like at the end of the day one guy will be the right guy compared to the other i don't know Ah, words. How do I explain it? I don't want to be all like, one guy will come on top. I don't mean it like that. It's not a competition. I just mean like, I'll know eventually who I'll have the connection with. And it's because like, he'll be the right guy for me. Not like a competition for me. It's never a competition. Even with the guys I felt connections with. Like, it's not like that. I guess I just mean like, I don't want to say like, win my heart or anything. I don't like mean it like that, you guys. I just like, feel like one guy will end up being the one or the one I date. Maybe it won't work out. See, I have so many trust issues with dating. I don't even know. Or maybe neither one of the guys will work out romantically. I don't know yet. That's another possibility possibility too. I'm just saying I don't think I'll be in this predicament again, so I'm not trying to worry about it long term. That's the whole point of this, okay? To be continued. I don't know. We're gonna go now. Cheers. Bye. Love y'all.